Yeah, well, I did speak with the doctor about that, and he says, unlike COVID, uh, monkeypox is harder to catch, and he doesn't believe it's going to lead to lockdowns. However, there are still fears in many communities. That's my biggest concern, like shopping in the grocery store. Tiana Galloway telling me monkeypox is changing her spending habits and more importantly, the things she's touching. I often think about like thrifting clothing because like that's kind of trendy now, but like it's concerning because these are clothes that people have worn, you know, you never know. And then like at the store, like they don't wash the clothes after people try them on. The CDC says monkeypox can spread through direct contact or by touching objects, fabrics and surfaces used by someone with monkeypox. A UNC Health infectious disease specialist says while while that can occur, the risk is low. I don't think I would worry too much about these very casual encounters with inanimate objects. You're not going to catch us at a restaurant. You're not going to catch this off of a park bench. Um, trying on clothes, again, I would say that's pretty unlikely. You would have to have somebody who right before you tried on clothes who had lesions dripping with monkeypox virus. The population most affected right now by monkeypox is men who have sex with men and their sexual partners. The physician warns that'll likely change. I think the number one concern I have is like staph infections or like MRSA infections. Will we start to see this uh, in daycares? Will we start to see this in athletes, uh, in wrestlers, people who have skin to skin contact? A mom I met is being cautious about the virus, but has greater worries. It's more concerning the COVID-19 than the monkeypox for me because there's not a current outbreak. So the Wake County Health Department, which is right here behind me, does have a limited supply of vaccines for monkeypox and right now is offering it to those who may have been exposed. We're live in Raleigh, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.